everyone welcome to today's literacy class so today we are going to read a book okay it is taken from the website a to z we have been already reading so many books from this website uh, from your kindergarten itself you have been reading so today we are going to read a book its uh, title is i would like to be so i have chosen this book because we are inquiring about who we are isn't it we are inquiring on the theme who we are and we have been learning about your hobbies talents interest and about your characteristics so this book talks about that okay so this book is written by arturo banal so let us see what is inside it i would like to be a cook and make a dish with meats and sweets and veggies and fish i would learn to cook not by the book but by testing tasting and taking a look so here the author is telling that he wants to become a cook and make a dish which includes meats sweets vegetables and fish and he would be learning the cooking the skill of cooking that is culinary not by reading any books not by looking at the recipes not by referring any recipes from anywhere but it will be done by testing tasting and taking a look so we have to test it whether it is tasty isn't it so a food a looks tasty by uh, like when you can uh, tell whether the food is good or not you look at the food and you find it tasty sometimes you say you feel like eating when you look at the food so for a food to be tasty you have to test it isn't it and one more thing is that you should have a look at it it should be presentable it should be tasty all this so the author is telling that he won't be looking at any book and learning the cooking rather he will try out on himself he will try out by himself and then he will test it taste it and take a look whether it is presentable see my kitchen come and pitch in my stew is alive with corn and chives so you can see how presentable the dish is here so it it is a stew and which uh, with corns and chives so he is asking us to come and visit his kitchen i would like to be a maker of video games full of dragons and wizards with crazy names the games i would write would feature knights who run and jump and get in fights so here the author is talking about becoming a video gamer isn't it a maker of games which has got full of dragons wizards and it he will give it crazy names so now you can find the so much of games in the uh, play store with different names okay so he is also wanting to become a video gamer a maker of video games and he would feature knights in it he would uh, feature he would add some knights into it knight is a bird actually who would run and jump and get in fight so that bird will jump that he will uh, fight with others all those things he will do this game is a fun fantasy i would like it if you played with me so he is telling that game is fun fantasy because fantasy is something imaginary which is not real so the games that we play in our lives are all imaginary isn't it the games that you download from the youtube or uh, the games that you download from the play store whatever it is you can see that it is all imaginary there is nothing real in that but so the author is telling the games that he is going to make is also a, a game based on imagination and he wants you to join him and play with him so already two uh, passions are over here one is he wants to become a cook that is a chef and the next one he wants to become a video gamer i would like to gaze into the sky and take notes on what's passing by i would search for planets near and far i would help to name each brand new star so here the author is talking about gazing into the sky gazing in the sense looking into the sky and take notes on what's passing by now uh, it's about the planets and comets so you can see the shooting star we say shooting star so that is the one that passes by at night you can, you would have heard in stories you would have uh, watched in movies and all so the author is telling that he would look into the sky and find out take a note of what is going on in the sky i would search for planets near and far so planets uh, which is near by our earth uh, planets which is far away now you would have uh, seen in many news that uh, you know they are telling that they have discovered many planets all that is been going on here so i would help to name each brand new star so when whenever a planet is discovered or whenever a star is discovered they keep a name to it they name it right so the author wants to name it uh, some crazy names he can give okay 
I would help discover things from galaxies to Saturn's ring. So here he is talking about discovery. Discovery in the sense finding. So when you already the planet is there but it is not visible to us or we don't know about it. So these people will go and find it in the space from the galaxies to Saturn's ring. So Saturn is a planet and it has got a ring around it. So he is talking about that. So they didn't mention about what is the profession here. So can you guess what profession is this? Those who finds the planet stars and gazes in the sky. Those who notes the uh, details about the shooting star. Do you know what it is? Yes, it is nothing but astronaut. Astronauts are the ones who discover the planets, who go to the space and find out everything which is happening inside the earth, outside the earth and other planets. I would like to be a vet who helps sick cats and barking dogs and hurting bats. People would bring their pets to me. I would help them stay healthy. So here he is talking about a doctor. A doctor who treats animals is called as veterinary doctor. Okay. So in short we call them as a vet. Who helps sick cats, barking dogs and hurting bats. So he will treat all kinds of animals. Okay. Mostly pet animals are taken to the veterinary hospital and they uh, treat uh, them there. So people would bring their pets to, I mean, uh, the author is telling that people will uh, bring those pets if he is becoming a veterinary doctor. People would bring uh, their pets to him and he would help the pets to stay healthy by treating them. I would heal their cuts and fix their legs and help with birds who lay bad eggs. So here in the picture you can see a puppy has uh, got an injury in his leg and it has been bandaged. Okay, so he is telling that he will take care of those animals who needs help. Okay. I would like to be an artist for comic books. I would draw superheroes and pirates hooks and evil people who would destroy man or woman, girl or boy. So here the author is wanting to become an artist that too for a comic book. Comic book who reads comic book? The children like you people reads comic book isn't it? So it is really funny to read it. It is really interesting to read the stories in it. So I would draw superheroes in that. So the uh, author is telling that once he is becoming an artist that too for a comic book he is going to draw super superhero then he is going to draw pirates hooks and evil people who would destroy man or woman girl or a boy. So he is going to draw everything and he is going to make it really interesting. So in the picture you can see how they are drawing it. Their plots won't make it off the ground, not with Superboy around. So plots in the sense the story, the detail, whatever you read, you get a story in that. Something is happening there, isn't, isn't it? So he's talking about that. Their plots won't make it off the ground. So it won't be much boring when you read that story because he is going to draw Superboy. He is going to include Superboy in this as in this picture. I would like to fix cool cars in an auto shop. I would get them going when they stop. I would do repairs and make them run. That is my idea of fun. So here the author is uh, talking about the fixing of cars in the shop. Okay, automobile shop. And he will stop. He will, uh, you know, he will uh, stop the cars from getting repaired. That is, he will make it good. Okay, when some problem is happening to the car or any other vehicles, he is going to make it good. And he will help them run. Run in the sense work. Okay, that is the idea of his fun. I would fix their engines when they stall. Getting greasy is a ball. So, he will fix the engines when they stall. Stall means to, to stop. Whenever a vehicle is stopping, when some problem is there, obviously it stops working. So, he won't allow it to happen. He will fix that engines. And when they fix it, what happens? Their hands becomes dirty, you know, greasy because all the uh, oil that we put inside the, those engines, everything, when they touch it, it becomes greasy. Their face, their dress, you would have seen. So, whom they are talking about here? Can you guess it whom they are talking about this? I mean, uh, someone who is repairing the cars, vehicles and all in an automobile shop. Can you guess it who is that? Yes, a mechanic. So, he is talking about becoming a mechanic. Life has endless possibilities. What in the world would you like to be? So, the author is telling us, life has got many possibilities, many opportunities. We have discussed about opportunities before, right? So, opportunities is a chance. Life gives you many chance to become something in your life. Obviously, you have to become someone in your life to, tomorrow, isn't it? So, you can see in this picture, one is a singer here and one is, uh, you know, some business and uh, some is, uh, someone is dancing, someone is building a house. 
so you can see every every uh, body has got different jobs with them because it is their passion they want to to become something so uh, the other day when we were discussing you all have given me what are your goals isn't it you wrote in a piece of paper and you posted it in the google classroom that is your passion what you want to become the same way the author is telling us life has got many possibilities like that so if we don't know something you should not tell that i don't know i am giving up you should not give up so as we saw perseverance that is you have to be a risk taker and work hard to achieve your passion so the author is asking you what in the world would you like to be there are many possibilities in the world to become you there are many jobs in this world so what is the job that you want to do what is the passion that you want to give life to okay so that this was about uh, the passage where the title was i would like to be where here you saw how the author was telling he want to become a chef he want to become an astronaut he want to become a veterinary doctor then a mechanic then uh you know uh, artist so he was talking about all the professions which are very famous actually you know that already so uh, you can become scientist you can become doctor whatever you need but you need to work hard you should not stop working hard so this is what this chapter says once you read this chapter uh, uh, i will i'll be posting the a to z book of this uh, now i have added it in the ppt so that is powerpoint presentation so it will be easy for us to you know read it i will post the book in the google classroom what you have to do is read it two three times you will understand it okay it is very easy so that i am asking you to read it because it will help you in uh, developing your reading skill then what you have to do is once you finish reading it two, two two three times understanding it once you understand it what you have to do is you have to fill this that is this is a graphic organizer you can find four boxes here what you have to do is write four details from the passage about the graphic organizer so the passage that we read now they are talking about that once you read it and understand it pick four points that you understood okay you can write uh, in these four boxes about that once you finish writing that connecting to self this is the question that is about you it uh, always whenever i am giving your work it it will there will be a question that is uh, connected to you so that you will understand it more okay so connecting to self talks about what would you like to be when you grow up and why so already we have discussed this i want you to write in this box what you would uh, like to become what you want to become okay your goal and why there is there will be a reason behind it if you want to become a doctor some you uh, said that you want to serve poor people you want to serve people and some said you want to serve the society the same way there is a reason behind everything so i want you to write your goal and i want you to tell the reason behind it and this page is taken from your english book that is literacy book it is in page number 22 i am going to post this also in it you can read your uh, passage two to three times understand it properly and then reflect it okay then you can submit it in the google classroom then i will be giving feedbacks to you and children kindly submit your work in time so that i can give you feedbacks understood so i hope you understood this chapter so okay meet you in the next class bye